So in today's lecture, we'll talk about some of the consequences or effects of inflation. Economic variables such as prices, wages, and interest rate do not move in sync with inflation, or if they adjust for inflation only after a time lag, then inflation can cause three types of problems. Unintended redistribution of purchasing power, which is followed by blurred price signals, and then difficulties in long-term planning. So let's take up each of them one by one. So first we'll discuss unintended distribution of purchasing power. People are typically hurt by inflation if somebody is holding cash. For example, if you have cash, say $1,000 in your pocket and tomorrow prices go up by 5%, which means that your $1,000 just lost value by 5%. If people have financial asset investments, where nominal return does not keep up with inflation, also can be exacerbated by taxes. For example, suppose you put your money in a fixed deposit or in a bond, which typically have fixed interest rate, which does not vary. Since your interest rates on those fixed deposits and bonds are not varying as a result of inflation, so in the end of the day, if inflation is too high, your actual returns are much lower than what you were promised. So wages can lag behind inflation. For example, typically your wages get adjusted every year because many of you who are working perhaps have an annual contract where your wages get decided on an annual basis. What if after you signed your last year's contract, prices went up and obviously your wages does not reflect that. You have to perhaps wait a year long to get it adjusted. And as a result, your wages are often sticky, which means that it does not adjust to inflation easily. Then there are retirees who are on a very defined pension. Uh, and a defined pension means that your monthly payments are fixed in advance. If there's too much increase in prices, that means your monthly payments are losing value as inflation increases. However, inflation may not be always a bad thing. It can also be a good thing, especially for some people who are borrowers. Suppose you have borrowed a mortgage, right? And often mortgages go on a fixed interest rate. That means you pay a fixed interest rate every year till the mortgage is paid off. Obviously, in those mortgages, interest rates do not vary. Even if inflation increases, your effect on your mortgage is interest inflation rate increases it has no effect on your monthly interest rate or say assume that you have bought a car at a say five percent fixed interest rate which means that your interest rate remains same no matter what's the market interest rate after you bought your car if prices increases as a result inflation rate increases if inflation rate increases you are not affected because you are still paying the 5% that you borrowed to buy a car. Now let's talk about the aspect of blurred price signal, another problem with infl inflation. Now in a market economy, prices are signal. What it shows you, the conditions of demand and supply. That means if prices are too high, the reason they're too high, maybe too many people are demanding it at the same time. Or if the prices are too low, maybe demand is low or the supply is way higher. So demand and supply determines price. Perhaps many of you have learned it in microeconomics. Now the problem with inflation is this. If inflation rate is too high, inflation blurs the messaging aspect of prices. Now inflation can go up because of factors which has nothing to do with demand and supply. In that scenario, prices don't give you the right kind of information. Also, when the levels and changes of prices become uncertain, business and individuals find it harder to react to economic signals. For ex example, like if you are expecting that prices are, will go up, so how do you react? Do you buy more today so that you can hedge on those increase in prices or should you wait that prices should decrease? So these are difficult decisions to make in a business world. Finally, another problem with inflation is long-term planning. It and it can make long-term planning extremely difficult. Uh, often businesses need to invest for a longer term. If the interest rate 
or inflation rate increases too much, it can affect the interest rate and as a result, it can hurt them in terms of their investment. As a result, businesses, if in a situation where inflation rate is, is varying a lot, so businesses spend a lot of time thinking about what's to be done. So it's a wastage of their resources at the world of business. So it's important that we have inflation, but it should be a steady level. Again, the number that we are targeting in US is about 2% inflation rate every year. That's what our Federal Reserve or the central bank do target. However, in reality, it's very difficult to have a very steady inflation every time.